Thank you for tuning into this video. My name is Jia. So in my previous video, we spoke about the 3D, 4D, and 5D timelines or consciousness realities per se during our awakening process. Check that video out if you resonate with it. I'll put the link above and below. In this video, I want to talk a little bit more about that, but more focused on the process of shifting through the timelines or the process of expanding our awareness, our consciousness, vibration into 5D. And when I say 5D, I'm not referring to it as some sort of a destination. It's more about the vibrational frequency of 5D, that flow of energy that we can easily tap in and out of depending on our own vibrational offering of that moment. So it's really about that process of slowly anchoring that vibration rather than some sort of destination that we're trying to get to. And in addition to that, I want to share some of the patterns that we can get into during our awakening process, which is this feeling of feeling stuck or being in this state of stasis or even the feeling lost during our spiritual journey and talk a little bit about why that tends to happen. So 5D consciousness or 5D vibration is really about that process of taking all the cords that we've plugged in the outside world, taking that and plugging it inwards as a way to start our inward journey. And I'll talk more about that as we go on. So before our awakening process, we tend to believe that the power is outside of us and we're kind of in this powerless state where we observe the cause and effect, cause and effect cycle of reality that unfolds in, in front of us. So from here, we tend to think that, oh, it's that person that makes my life miserable. It's that thing that happened, that childhood trauma that's causing me to be like this and I have no power to change that. Or that thing, that person, that event is really about that identification with the outside world that puts us in a state of powerlessness or stasis per se. And as we go through our spiritual awakening process, really shedding the old belief systems and taking in some new perspectives, expanding our awareness and doing our inner work, we begin to realize that, you know what, actually power is within me. You know, depending on our own vibrational offering, we can choose our emotions, our intentions and what we believe in. So we be really begin to take all the cords from the outside again and really plug it inwards in finding internal ways to shift our awareness, shift our perspective. So when we say taking the cords from the outside and putting it inwards, it's really not about the idea of isolating and disconnecting from the outside world. It's really about the process of working on ourselves, unveiling our subconscious patterns, working on healing ourselves, expanding our awareness, really doing that internal work as a way to gain a higher or broader perspective in which how we see the outside reality outside of us. So it's really about higher perspective and a newer way in the way that we relate with the outside world. And one example can be when I was very young, I had this deep belief that I was not very likable. I had this feeling or this belief that people couldn't really relate to me. I just felt very different, that people didn't really approach me. I just felt like I was not likable as an individual. And as I began my internal work, really understanding myself and expanding of my awareness, my beliefs, my patterning, I realized that this was not true. I realized that it's really that I was simply vibrating at a different vibrational frequency that people, some people were not able to relate or approach me per se. So this really changed the way I view people around me and the way that I interact with people, events, and just situations as a whole that goes on outside of me. So in a way, it's gaining a deeper connection with the outside world and gaining a deeper understanding of what's going on. So going back to that plugging inwards process, we all do this in our own unique way. These unique ways seem to kind of reflect our own soul traits or mission or gifts per se. So there's a variety of different ways in which we really go through this internal process. But some examples might be some people like to use art as a tool to really express themselves and understand themselves. Some people sing, play music, create music. Some really begin to take meditation seriously as a tool to understand themselves on a deeper level. 
Some people like to just really expand their spiritual knowledge through research and reading and then take those knowledge and information inwards to see if they resonate with it or not. So in terms of how we go through this process is very unique to ourselves. But some of the common patterns that can take place during our awakening process, during our shifting of consciousness into 5D process, is that we can experience feeling stuck or being in this state of stasis or not growing per se. And this takes place in a lot of different forms. But usually this happens when we forget that we're plugging ourselves inward. So unconscious or subconsciously begin to plug ourselves in the outside world again. And this happens in a very subtle manner sometimes that we don't really recognize it until later on. One example might be um, as you really gain your spiritual awareness and expand yourself, you're really going through this awakening process and at some point you begin to realize that you've been still seeking some validation or acceptance from other people. This is one example of still having that little bit of residue of old paradigm or old beliefs that are yet to be released. So when you're feeling stuck or feeling the stasis or even feeling lost, it's a really great opportunity to check in with yourself to see are you actually plugged in inwards or are you plugged in the outside world? And this plugging to the outside world usually comes from some sort of fear-based energy or fear-based belief. It can be fear of the unknown, fear of not knowing what's going to happen if we go deeper into this spiritual process, or fear of rejection, fear of being alone, fear of being disconnected there's a lot of different fears that can come up and these can really be great opportunities for us to pay attention to so that we can work through them there's also this programming of if we focus on ourselves and work on ourselves that's being selfish so if you're aware that this is happening then this is a really great news because no matter what is going on, if we are aware of what's happening, for example, if we're aware of this replugging to the outside world pattern happening, that means we're still shifting because we are gaining awareness of what's going on. We're gaining awareness of our subconscious patterns. So this is a great opportunity to unplug ourselves and plug ourselves back inwards for a deeper understanding of what's going on with us internally. From this internal work is where we have deeper access to our intuition, our inner guidance system, different ideas of service or mission. So this internal work is actually gaining of a lot deeper level of power than the illusion of looking for power from the outside world. So again, 5D consciousness or 5D vibration is really about the internal awakening process. So whenever you feel like you're being stuck or you feel like there's lack of shift or growth or you just feel lost per se it's very important to check in with yourself to see if your attention or, or awareness is plugged into the outside world i hope this video was helpful for you in your own awakening journey if you have any questions feel free to comment below contact me if you have any if you want to share any of your own personal journey please share that in the comment below as well thank you and i'll see you next time